everybody. Welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah for today. I hope you're well. Um, oh, over here. Can you see there's a blank screen? That's because we have to do something pretty special to get this game running. Uh, and I don't want to miss like a single frame of it because I did get it running just before. And the opening few seconds are so good. Um, but I can't, I can't like stream it and then start it. I have to start it and then stream it. And so doing it this way, hopefully you'll hear as much of it as possible. Um, so bear with me. It'll be worth it. I mean, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, obviously it's like a, a 0.5 of importance. But, you know, for me, these are little things that keep me going. So we're going to try it. Now let me let me see. What are we doing? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to start the game running, and then I'm going to switch back over to OBS and try to capture it. So I've got to go to here, Windows Capture, okay, we're ready. Uh, and, and the sound will be going, so you'll be able to hear it even if you miss the first few seconds. Um, all right, we can do this, bear with me. Here we go, are we ready? Five, four, three, oh, we're just doing it, okay. Over to you, and then over to... Oh my gosh, we did it. Success. Okay. Well, hi everybody. Welcome to Queer Games Heck Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we've done all that. Okay, so today we're playing Beauty Copter, a game I know nothing about. So if you don't like surprise content, look away. Um, but the reason we're playing this today is because I was at a little function a little while ago um, about the queer history, no, the history of queer games. And um, the alcohol was flowing freely. I'm not much of a drinker, but you know, when there's an open bar, why not? I say, get your money's worth. And um, so I was chatting to just people at this event, and they were telling me about their games, and they all sounded pretty awesome. And so I made a little list, <laughs> which I found the next day, and I was like, "What's this list about?" But then I thought really hard, and I remembered what it was about. And it was just a bunch of little games to check out um, that I think might be right up Queer Games Heck Yeah's alley. Um, this is the first one off the list, Beauty Copter. Uh, let's see what let's see what it is. Um, yeah. Good morning, world. Early shifts are so nice. No visitors. No noise. Hi, pilot. Oh, hi. Time for your morning flight. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, I'm adjusting the sound levels on the fly a bit with this one. Okay, what do we do? Press L to hop off after 8.14. Oh, um, I can't see a clock. Oh, there's a clock. Wait, do we have to wait 14 minutes? Well, we'll try it anyway. Just time to land yet just started no time to land yet oh press space just started no time to land yet oh okay ah uh oh we're not going up how do we how do we go up uh oh <laughs> wow this is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. We're, we're a bit low. We're a bit low on the ground. <laughs> How do we... Can we go up anyway? These are cool graphics. How have they done that? Is that like a... Okay, I think they're 2D sprites in a 3D world, but then at the same time... Anyway, we'll talk about it afterwards. As soon as I figure out what we do. So we have to just fly around for 14 minutes, apparently. Oh no. Oh, oh. Some visitors recklessly climb flowers. My boss says, pick them up. My boss says, I wish we knew how to get higher up in the... Okay. Hmm. Oh, we just hold space. Okay, now we're cooking. Okay, let's go... Oh, let's pick them up. Okay, they climb the flowers. Okay. Hello. 
Okay, let me just... You can hear all that, I think. Um, we just have a bit more. Alright, well... <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I love this art. Oh, I love everything about this. Where do we, where do we deliver them? Happy with this place? I don't like the pool. Oh. Somehow the programmer knew that every person playing this game, the very first thing they would do is try to drop a person sim, sim style into a pool. Okay, let's take them to the bus, maybe? Happy with this place? I don't like that bird. <sighs> Goodbye! Oh, we took them back to the bus. I'm with you now. Okay. I'm just wondering who will replace the balloon. <laughs> oh no, the bird. What happens if we go for the bird? Oh, you can't fake this kind of brilliant art style. Like, but what's up? Hey, Gurry. Oh no, there's stuff happening. Um, I can't. Hmm. Uh oh. Nope, space bar. We've lost the bird. Oh, there it is. Something about. Wave to it? Nope. Phrase. Oh, I see. I, oh, I don't know how we get to the. Welcome to the bar. I work here. <laughs> Good morning. Can't you use your own mouth? <laughs> How may I help you? Okay, we're gonna do a frowny thumb. Stop that. I don't be such a bummer. Like there's this programmer art, right? So if you're a game dev and you're more of a programmer engineering person like I am, when you make when you're sort of doing your own first version and you're making your own art, it's just always just really hideous in a way that just can't you can't quite put your finger on. Because if you knew what it was, you wouldn't do it that way. And your game just looks like a mismatch of styles and it just doesn't fit together and it's just I don't know, it's just repelling. It's, that's how it feels when, when I look at my own program art. But then you play a game that just looks like a mashup where someone's just thrown together art. And yet it's just so freaking gorgeous. Like this. I'm trying to press the phrase. I'll just try the first phrase one more time to see if it's a, get a different response. Okay. Welcome to the bar. No, okay. I work here. Alright, so we've done all that. We've done all the bird stuff. Ah. <sighs> Like the, the, the mismatch of textures, or are, is there a mismatch of textures? Maybe the textures are perfectly placed together. I don't know how it works. Once again, if I knew, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be. You know, I wouldn't do it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna talk to the chickens. We're not up to something. Just some old chicks. <laughs> Just some old chicks. We go into the house. Okay, so we're ten minutes past eight. So we've got another four minutes. Oh, Silver Spa Hotel, Shiver Spa. Nope, can't go anything, can't do anything in that. Oh, we haven't visited the giraffe. Oh, there's a frozen lake. Oh, it's all happening. This is the best open world since the last Zelda game. Oh no, someone's trapped under the ice. Hello? Wilson, I can hear someone. Wilson, I'll never believe I was abandoned. Is there anyone? Please entertain me. Welcome to the bar. If that ain't the sweetest voice. Pilot, can you help me out? I'd love to, but you're really heavy. No, no, I'm alright with being here. I only require some stimulation. How may I help you? I'm still fully capable of amusing crowds up to six people. Oh no, 
Does that mean we have to Good morning. bring six people here? I don't think we can do that. Mm, where are we going to find six people? I almost wish there was a little um, copter sound. Oh, gosh, this is... Even the draw distance being so restricted. Like, artificially so. It's just gorgeous. Oh, a billboard sprite, but not actually billboarding it. Oh, genius. How do people figure that out? Oh, says something. Shiver Spa. <laughs> Picked up a dirty towel. Okay, this is as high as we can go. Morning, madam. It's breakfast time. Uh, I can barely hear you. Could you please come higher? Um, actually, this beauty copter can. Stop mumbling and bring me a creme de men. <sighs> uh. Oh, okay, we can land at HQ now. Okay, let's go. I think it's over here. Okay. There's a little clock down in the bottom left corner. I don't know if you can see it. Um. Oh. L. Oh, use to wander around HQ. Simulator called Summer Wings. It's better with a second player. I'm cold and miserable. Seems like the heating is out again. Hungry? Yes. Unfortunately, there's no menu. I can't. I can't turn down the music because I'd love the voices a bit louder and the music a bit softer. I'm just. Oh no. Oops. Let's keep going. Break room. Can we go? Okay. Break room. I could sit, and the cat would stay hungry. Oh. We're out of frozen food. I should fly to the store in Fog's Hole. Fog's Hole? Where's Fog's Hole? Is this sign conveniently placed telling us on the way to, the way to Fog's Hole? Ah, oh, genius. So many games overcomplicated. Oh, beautiful. That transition was heavenly. Oh. 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 Have we fallen through the. I don't know what we're doing. be CG, like they've photoshopped it, but uh, it looks so good. You're the pilot, right? Can you even fly with kick in your stomach? You're very hard to understand. See, Pigeon, no even him likes me. I never said you're unlikable. I love your cute little jokes, the way you eat cake. Oh, thanks. Oh hey, is my brother doing okay? Well, Gurry is still Gurry. We need food, we need food for the kick hat. You still sell these microwave tartlets? I consider these things a disgrace. The only reason I keep them stocked is to hear you say tartlet. Here you go. Okay, we're doing alright now. Um, how do we get out? Okay, lift off. Spacebar, right. I'm not talking much through it, I guess. I'm just kind of really enjoying this one. Um, oh, can we do it? Wanna... Hey, 
boy. Are you okay? Hi, Auntie. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm always worried when you buzz around on that thing. <laughs> so glad you're wearing a helmet. Say, how are the cats? They're not getting any younger. The house is too damp for their bones. So I think... Do you still enjoy what you do? It's fabulous. You are always into beauty, but you also loved garbage trucks. I like taking care of people and garbage. Oh, the time has clicked on. Tremendously so. Talking to Arnie took up some time. So... <sighs> It looks like it's a it's a 3D model. I'm looking at the auntie in the chair. It's like a 3D model that they've they've rendered. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, six frames of, and then they've they've done that sort of 2.5D thing where it's it's like the the old Doom thing, where it's like a 2D sprite in a 3D world, and then what what and if what frame of the sprite you get is based on your angle. This is hey, Pilot. Yeah. Howdy. Great. You can act normal. The locals left town. Ah, uh, a little goof off day. On the contrary, there's so much to do. See these fergs, heavy with snow? I could need help with the snow harvest. Shake them, suck them. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> Alright, we'll use the downdraft from our magical tree. From our magical copter. Hard to control. Click on your beauty copter. Oh, where are we gonna get? Can we downdraft everything? Oh, I can't do that. Okay. A tree harvest. Well, this game is turning out. I thought this would be like a 30 second game, but actually it's pretty substantial. I won't touch Auntie's tree. They've even thought about that. That's so clever. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Ooh. It's a little hard to control the beauty copter. I guess it's more beauty than copter. Controls are a little bit tricky, switching between the keyboard and the mouse. Um, this is a no-frills game, really, I guess. It's like one of those things where... It's an art piece more than it's a game. Although it's quite gamey. There we go. I'm not going to do all the trees. This is crazy. Where were the cats? Where's the Wait, who are we getting the cat thing for? Oh, at, at HQ. Okay, yeah, that's us. Okay. Microwave the cat food. Or the tartlet, I should say. Is that for me? I love bacon. Thanks. I needed that, but I'm still freezing. Okay, oh, John here. Hey, cat. Are you up for a round on the summer simulator? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Dead. Camera work was quite nifty, actually. Okay. If we're just now in another beauty copter, I'm going to be very confused. Oh, I love these flowers. How I wonder if this is a stock image of some CG thing, or whether the, the, it was made for this game. Because that is actually really, really pretty. Oh. Are we just maybe it's just us looking at this picture. 
stage one, oh, hug no. 20 yellow flowers. to control. In fact, are we even controlling it? Oh, I see. I already feel warmer. It's gorgeous. Loving this. I do feel a bit warmer. I can't say the cat has really helped us very much. Touch 30 red flowers. There's a nice cluster of red flowers there. Perfect. Please proceed to the next stage. Please proceed. I mean, I haven't spoken about the voices yet, but the voices are superb. Stage. Finding the right purple flowers. All purple flowers. Oh, we're gonna be here forever. Um, it's really tough to find the right computer voice because you want something that's a little bit kind of um, that sounds really old-fashioned, right, and out of date. But you also want it to still be understandable. So if you do go back to those really old, like 1990s computer voices, um, to get that really authentic sort of 8-bit crunchy flat sound. Um, it can actually be quite difficult um, because you don't get it, you don't get a good result from it. Oh, uh oh. Ooh, all right. Okay. I don't know if Player Two has actually helped us at all. Target body temperature reached. Thank you for playing. Still the flag. Well, unfortunately, OBS crashed uh, just at the end of that little level. Um, I tried to toggle the screen to see how everything was going, uh, and the problem I have with this setup is that um, if the game is running full screen, um, I can't toggle back to OBS often without OBS crashing. Um, I think this is something to do with full screen games, unfortunately. Um, and there was no way to force the game to run window mode. Like, it's actually kind of an accessibility issue, I think. Um, I know it's if you're game dev, it's really nice to have your game just, when you start it up, just fill the screen, like from top to bottom and side to side. Like, that's really beautiful. But at the same time, um, I think it's worth starting in window mode and then having a menu option to go into full screen mode just because people have like overlays or like on screen keyboards um, or running non standard setups like myself. Full screen mode is a real hassle, and especially when you can't get out of it. But that's, that's unfortunate because I was really kind of mesmerized by that game, uh, Beauty Copter. Uh, definitely on the sort of uh, sort of vapor wave kind of vapor vapor wave no vapor wave kind of end of the aesthetic uh, for sort of that sort of cool glitchy kind of low low bit rate kind of games. What do we call that? Low bandwidth? Probably low bandwidth. Where everything's kind of a bit compressed, you know. Um, the textures were were kind of a bit blocky and everything, but all deliberately done, all really tightly done, and um, the fact that. It was the little things that made me think this game actually had a lot going on. It was like when it said, oh, it's time to go to this other village. And we took off. The sign for the other village was almost directly in front of us. And it was kind of like, that kind of shows good, like there's some thoughts gone into the actual gameplay side of that game. Because often when you get like an aesthetic game, it's all about the aesthetic and the actual gameplay element is um, neglected. Um, I thought the animation in that game also showed a bit of care, you know, like um, even the 2D billboard sprites or whatever we're calling them. Um, within that, 
like the guy with the bucket. It was animated him reaching into the bucket, you know, so that, that stuff isn't easy to do. Um, and it was done for this game. So if you really love just sort of strange little experiences, Beauty Copter, that's for you. Uh, anyway, I'll see you next time on Queer Games Tech Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Okay, bye.